Hello students. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting and important topic. The name of the topic is trigonometrical ratios. So before starting with our topic, let us go through what are the various objectives of this lesson. The first objective is that you will be able to understand the concept of Pythagoras theorem. You will be able to identify the sides of a right angled triangle according to the given reference angle. You will be introduced to the six T ratios and you will be able to find T ratios in the following cases. Number one, when two sides will be given to you and number two, when one of the T ratio is given to you. So let us start with the discussion of a topic trigonometry. What is trigonometry? The word trigonometry is derived from the Greek words trigonon meaning triangle, the three sided closed figure and metron meaning measure. So therefore, trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies the relationship between the sides and the angles of triangles. Students, you have already discussed the various classification of triangles on the basis of sides and angles in your previous classes. Here in trigonometry, our focus is totally towards the right angled triangle. Now, what is right angled triangle? Right angled triangle is a triangle with one of the angle of 90 degree. Here in this figure, you can clearly see that the triangle ABC is a right angled triangle with angle B equal to 90 degree. Now, let us discuss about Pythagoras theorem. Before discussing Pythagoras theorem, let us recall the names given to the three sides of the right angle triangle. The names of these three sides are base, perpendicular and hypotenuse. Students, hypotenuse is the longest side and is always opposite to 90 degree. Let's have an example. You can see that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle, right angle at B. Now, which is the side opposite to angle B? It is the side AC. So therefore, AC is the hypotenuse. Now, what is Pythagoras theorem? Pythagoras theorem is h square is equal to b square plus p square. That is the square of the longest side will be equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. That is h square equal to b square plus p square. Now, let us discuss the identification of the sides of a right angle triangle. That is, which side will be the base, which will be the perpendicular, and which will be the hypotenuse when a reference angle will be given to us. Now, this reference angle could be theta, alpha, beta, gamma or any other acute angle. Now, let us discuss some examples for the identification of the sides of a right angle triangle according to a reference angle. Here I have taken three different examples. Here are three right angle triangles. In the first figure, the triangle ABC is right angle at B. 
द रेफरेंस एंगल थीटा इज मार्क एट वर्टेक सी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू आइडेंटिफाई द थ्री साइड्स फ्रॉम दिस फिगर नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस व्हिच इज द हाइपोटेन्यूज द हाइपोटेन्यूज इज द साइड ऑपोजिट टू 90 डिग्री नाउ व्हिच इज द साइड हियर व्हिच इज ऑपोजिट टू 90 डिग्री यस इट इज ए सी सो ए सी विल बी द हाइपोटेन्यूज नाउ स्टूडेंट्स for base and perpendicular we are going to remember one thing the side which is opposite to the reference angle will be the perpendicular will be the perpendicular now here in this figure the reference angle is at vertex c then now which is the side opposite to this reference angle yes it is the side ab so therefore ab will be the perpendicular now which is the side left that is bc so bc will be the base bc will be the base or we can remember one thing the side on which 90 degree and reference angle both are given that is called as the base that is called as the base now let us discuss one more example in this other triangle it is also right angle at b but here the reference angle is at vertex a now we'll be discussing which are the sides going to be for base perpendicular and hypotenuse now again the side opposite to 90 degree will be the hypotenuse therefore ac is the hypotenuse the side opposite to the reference angle will be the perpendicular is the perpendicular so therefore bc is the perpendicular and the third left out side will be the base here also we can say that on a side that which is base both the angles 90 degree and a reference angle both are as marked now in a third figure abc which is a right angle at vertex a and the reference angle that is given to us is at the vertex b so in this figure which is the side opposite to the 90 degree the side opposite to 90 degree is bc so bc will be the hypotenuse the side opposite to reference angle will be the perpendicular so which is the side opposite to this reference angle it is ac so that will be perpendicular and the third side will be the base now students you all will be clear with the identification of the three sides of a right angle triangle now students we are going to solve a sum based on pythagoras theorem with a reference angle we can see that triangle abc is a right angle triangle right angle at vertex b theta the reference angle has been marked at vertex c and we are given that ab equal to 12 units bc equal to 5 units and we have been told that we need to find the length of ac so let us mark the base perpendicular and hypotenuse in this figure as already discussed so which will be the hypotenuse that will be the side opposite to 90 degree so which is the side opposite to 90 degree that is ac so ac will be the hypotenuse now which will be the perpendicular the perpendicular will be the side opposite to the reference angle now here the side opposite to reference angle is ab so ab will be perpendicular and bc will be the base now according to the given things the base is 5 units and perpendicular is 12 units and 
we need to find hypotenuse. We need to find hypotenuse. So we are going to apply Pythagoras theorem as it is a right angle triangle. So here we have written in triangle ABC, H square will be equal to B square plus P square by Pythagoras theorem. Now, what is the value of base? The value of base is 5. So it will be 5 square plus the value of P is 12. So it will be 12 square. So we got H square is equal to 5 square plus 12 square. Now, what is the square of 5? The square of 5 is 25. The square of 12 is 144. On adding, we get 169 so h square is equal to 169 now the square will come this side and it will be the under root of 169 now what is the under root of 169 it is 13 units so therefore we get the value of ac as 13 units let us discuss one more example for the better understanding of this topic we are given that triangle abc is a right angle triangle at vertex a we are also given that ab equal to 8 units bc is equal to 17 units and we need to find the length of ac so first of all we are going to identify base perpendicular and hypotenuse from this figure we know that the side opposite to 90 degree is hypotenuse. So in this figure, the side opposite to 90 degree is BC. So BC will be hypotenuse. The side opposite to reference angle will be the perpendicular. So AC is the perpendicular. And the third side which is left out, that is AB will be the base. Now, as it is a right angle triangle, we are going to apply Pythagoras theorem. So in triangle ABC, H square is equal to B square plus P square. On substituting the values of H and B, we get 17 square is equal to 8 square plus P square. The square of 17 is 289. The square of 8 is 64. So we get 289 is equal to 64 plus P square. So 64 will go that side and will get minus. So on subtracting, we get 225 is equal to P square. And we know that that 225 is a square of 15. So the value of perpendicular will be 15 units. So therefore, AC is equal to 15 units. Now students, you have got a worksheet in your SNAP homework based on these sums. So practice those sums. Thank you and have a nice day.